Well, here we are inside the engine room. Wanted to give you a quick update since most of the work in here is done. And let you know what's been going on. So here, this is where the 120 volt AC shore power comes in. We've got a galvanic isolator. And here, a positive disconnect uh, two pole. You really want to have that to be AYC compliant needs to be within three feet of shore power though then feeds into a 4000 watt 175 amp inverter charger which i have mounted on this back wall while i'm sitting here up on the shelf this little red bucket here is a pretty nice piece of equipment to have if you're working in here and the motor's out it allows you to sit down and work on all the wiring and whatnot so here's the back wall with a negative bus bar there collecting uh, negatives from various spots. They're all tied together there and then that'll be uh, connected to the transmission when we get in. Over in the corner is the raw water filter there. A positive disconnect for the DC along with the distribution block. Each individual line is fused. Then that feeds into the little blue thing there, which is a low voltage, high voltage Victron cutoff. Also on that wall is a sub panel there that feeds uh, navigation equipment and an additional breaker panel that I installed up on the binnacle early on. And of course, a fire extinguisher. Down below here, we have positive disconnect for the um, what's going to be the secondary battery there along with the uh, oil change pump another little piece of equipment's nice to have if you're in here working and it's hot and it's one of these little personal air conditioners doesn't necessarily keep you cool cold but it keeps you cool enough to keep the sweat out of your eyes which a uh, pretty big deal then over here you see the back side of the uh, breaker panel, all that new wiring. I covered that extensively in the last V-Log. And then over here, this is my uh, incoming panel here for all my power generation modes. Uh, two sets of uh, solar panels, a, a wind turbine, and a water turbine. They all come in and feed that panel and are all individually confused with a positive disconnect. Here is my Victron uh, shunt. So I can tell what's going on with that battery pack. I also have an additional shunt up here just to so I can measure how many amps and what the voltage is coming in from the power distribution. Here on the top of the battery box is another DC uh, collection point. Here's that distribution box that you saw when um, we went over the wiring. All repainted, put on with a new high voltage sticker. If you're looking real close, you'll see a button here. This button, when you open this up, I installed a, a DC light panel so when you're in there you got plenty of light you can see what you're doing nothing worse than working in there having no light the sweats running down your face you can't read anything and then up there on the top if I don't know if you can see it or not but I have all the wiring schematics for everything in there the panel that's going to go on the back of that uh, AC DC breaker box it will have the wiring schematics from blue seas for that panel let me move down here to my handy dandy five gallon bucket. Here we got the fuel fuel tank distribution point. That's going to feed in to this brand new Recor 1000 dual fuel filter with vacuum gauge. Next to that is the secondary bilge pump for the forward bilge. This is a um, oscillating type it will only go on if the water reaches the bottom of the engine room here where you see that float switch 
other than that right down there right behind that check valve there that's where the primary uh, bilge is and that's that new high-tech blue innovations uh, bilge pump that I showed you earlier here we've got the collection point for the um, alternator off of the engine uh, split going to the primary and secondary batteries. This allows you to not to make sure that uh, you don't back feed the alternator and blow it out. This is a uh, shunt that I have right now for the battery bank that's going to go in there, but that will be replaced. I'm going to go with the SimNet uh, panel that will allow me to monitor my battery voltage, my amps, and four uh, fuel tank levels. And then over here, positive disconnect for the second battery bank and some collection uh, bus bars, both positive and negative. Now if you look down here, this is where the primary tank is. It's underneath the motor. I'm going to remove this access cap and install uh, a uh, fuel tank gauge. So I'll be able to gauge how much diesel I've got in my primary tank. That pretty much concludes it here for the motor room. Quick tour. Well, that concludes our tour of the engine room. I hope you enjoyed it, maybe found it useful and, inf and informative. Now I know that this week I had promised that I'd be doing an update on the uh, Simrad system installation and it's taken me more than one weekend. Uh, large part of that is I ordered some additional units, sort of went whole hog on this thing so I wanted to share that all with you all in one sitting so hopefully we'll have that done for the next vlog. As always, thank you for stopping in this is your first time. We'd love to have you here again, so hit that subscription button, and if so, give us a like. And remember to follow us on Facebook. As always, fair winds.